let's paint these watercolor roses and let's transfer it to a good watercolor paper. How do I do that? I got you. First, you need to have a good tracing pad paper. You need to have your picture. It can be a magazine. It can be a regular photograph or whatever you want to transfer to your good, good watercolor paper. And then you're going to place your tracing paper and you're going to tape some of the areas to start revising the picture. So I'm going to be using this purple marker and I'm going to start going all around revisiting each of the lines I know when we're painting watercolor or acrylics, sometimes we feel a little intimidated when we need to be uh, drawing freehand. So this is a very nice way to do it. Okay, now let's work this step two. Now that you have all the outline in purple or any color that it works good for you, grab a six bead or four B pencil. And from the back part of the drawing, you are going to start adding the color. Now that I have the complete picture with pencil in the background, I'm going to be using some of my good watercolor paper. In this case, it's going to be Archer. After taping the four corners of my paper, I'm going to grab my tracing paper and place it in the center. Then again, you can use again another color that is going to help you to know exactly where you already revisit the line in this case I decided to use any color that is brighter than the one that I have in the background so it's an orange so I'm going to start be sure that my paper is not moving around
and this is your line your outline so now because it's watercolor we want to have very soft transparent kind of lines so I'm going to be using this type of erasers that is going to help me to soft my lines First need to be very soft. Then I'm going to make this like a little warm. And I'm going to release it very soft and gentle. And this is how I transfer a picture into a good watercolor paper. I hope you like it. See you, bye.